hi guys welcome back if you're new here my name is ruby and i'm slightly plant obsessed i haven't said that in a while anyways guys look i've got a unboxing to do today without further ado let's get into it armed with the weapon let's open the box While I'm just opening it, guys, let me tell you where it's from. It's from France. Uh, she posted it the day before yesterday, so I didn't receive it yesterday. I received it today. And here is the plant. Here's the plant, guys. Can you guys see it? No, let me take it out. It's very well packed, I must say. It's tiny, tiny. But look at the variegation on that. It's so tiny. I did think it was a bit bigger, I'll be honest. I've seen the pictures. I bought it off eBay from France. It's so tiny. Can you guys see? It's got one, two, two baby leaves. One there and one there. Apparently they are gonna grow and a new shoot coming from there. So these leaves are still growing. I think this has hit, hit its full size, both of these. Um, it could get bigger I did ask her how do you keep this like how are you growing it she's growing it in normal room temperature and whatnot I am gonna put it in humidity some light into my fish tank the one I made into a greenhouse I'm gonna keep it in that but um, she kept it in normal condition hopefully if I keep it in a more perky what it deserves condition um, warmth and light I might see some bigger leaves and more improvements but can you guys see the variegation on that I think it's beautiful it's still in its original container well I think it is let me see how she packed it so she's given a plastic container and then she's put some of those foam in there and in another plastic cup kind of thing oh I've not seen this kind of packing before this is new but it did the trick let me just take the yellow tape off sorry guys I didn't even mention what it is it's a variegated monstera adansonii obviously you guys know by the title and by the look of it this is a greeny variegation more light green hint of yellow kind of variegation in there it's not like my other one that I've got with the pure white variegation and I wanted to keep a bit of both you know have one that's white and green and have one that's lime green green yellowy kind of a different variegation type on there most people probably prefer the other one I'm not sure I prefer both I think both of them are absolutely amazing variegation I love them both okay so this is how it's looking obviously I'm going to keep it in that guys get tissue around it a wet tissue there it's trying to be a bit gentle gentle give me a minute guys okay so she's got it in moss it's cold really really cold she's got it in moss and bark here it is in moss um, I think it's been growing in moss for her 
the roots look nice and long and lush it is a cutting from another plant can you guys see the cut point there sorry i got plaster on my finger can you guys see the the cutting there and the roots look pretty good um, I'm not going to keep it in moss I have no plans or desires to keep it in moss I don't like growing things in moss I, I can't I just can't if there was a useless person with moss it's me so I'm gonna just I'm just gently guys taking the moss out because, huh, just me. It's cost me a bomb. And an arm and a leg. Call it what you want. You know. So, there you go guys, I took as much as I can off, I know I could take more off, can you see, like, you, the roots are absolutely amazing, I must say, and um, here is another root coming from there, I think I could pop this up Put it on a pole of some sort, whether it's a moss pole or what have you, and just um, watch it grow. I mean, perfect, absolutely amazing. The new aerial roots will start coming from here as soon as it grows. Um, this one, this variegation is amazing. I don't think it's as delicate. I don't think it's as delicate as my pure white variegated Monstera. Now I'm going to bring that one out and show you guys a bit of a comparison. Um, I like doing that. And then I'll pop this baby up and show you. Let me pop this up guys and then I'll show you a comparison with this one and my other Adansonii, variegated Adansonii. I literally just potted it up I didn't show it on camera because I did it outside the whole mess and all of that bringing it in I'm sure you guys have seen me potting up my plants many many times I've put in some per cocoa core perlite bark cocoa core worm castings and what have you so it's all in there very airy well mixtured mix and um, yeah I just put that in there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably put something there to hold it but for now let me show you I've had this for a couple of weeks I think it's been about two three weeks there is the white variegated monstera and here is the lime green greeny variegation monstera now I like them both like a lot a lot they're different in their own ways can you guys see this one really is a one big leaf um, I haven't checked if the node is growing I don't think it has still come out um, it's slow very very slow as a cutting maybe when um, it starts establishing it will go bam 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 try grow fast but while it's still growing the node it's slow slow but other than that it is great this one is already a perked up fully grown plant in that sense compared to this and um, let's see how fast it keeps shooting out leaves for me that would be nice in it guys so this is how it looks again guys if I upload this in a couple of days or weeks I will give a quick update of how it's looking at the time of uploading this video and 
So guys, this is a one week, three days update. As you can see, that is my white and green variegated Adansonii and that is the new one that I unboxed for you guys. There it is. Now I've kept this in a fish tank that I've transformed into a plant tank. Uh, the humidity is 50 but I keep it at 60 to 70 look I've opened the lid and the humidity is dropping but it is kept up it is kept up to 60 to 70 degrees in there for the heat but like I said guys I opened the lid and the heat is gone up if the heat does go down if the humidity does go down I tend to just squirt it with some water close the lid and the humidity goes back up there's perlite at the bottom and right at the bottom of the fish tank underneath on the wooden table is the heat mat there's the grow light and it's doing quite well in there guys um the new leaf that hasn't unfurled it's unfurled now there it is there the more older leaves as you can see but it's doing quite well. I've watered it uh, twice since I received it. So I just check if it's moist. If it's not, I water it. My older Adansonii, the one leaf one that I got earlier on this month, it's it's been over a month actually I've received it. It hasn't grown a new node or anything. Actually, let me get these out and give you a closer look, guys there guys I hope you can see better so that's the newer leaf the variegation on that is more white on half of the leaf I think that's because I'm keeping it in bright light which I don't think she did keep that in because she kept it in normal room temperature I don't think she kept a grow light over it but because I am I'm getting a more whiter variegation can you guys tell there. Uh, this is the older one that if you saw my unboxing on to give you a quick update doesn't look like anything new is going on I can't see a node or anything so it seems like it's just doing nothing for me but better do nothing than um, better just survive then grow a new node this is taking its lovely time so I've given like an update on this before as well it's taking its lovely time but this on the other hand I feel as if there is another new growth point coming out from here so as soon as this is probably half fully grown another one will pop out these baby leaves that she mentioned are still growing I don't know if they are because I don't think they've done much since I think they've grown a little bit yeah they've grown a little bit these two are slow growers I don't know what kind of condition she must have kept it in for it to grow so slow because this one came out when I received it and look how large it is already and these came out while she had it and they're slightly growing you know I can't say there's a major improvement in there in them and these leaves are looking much much better as well the grow light is um, doing wonders but yeah, that's how it's looking guys. I've kept them in a terracotta pot, watered it about twice a week and they are doing fantastic. If there's anything else you guys would like to know, let me know and let me know what you, let me know which variegation you prefer more. The white and green variegation, this leaf or the lime green, greeny yellow variegation. Let me know which one you guys prefer. Thanks for watching guys, love you all, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I appreciate you all immensely. Take care guys, bye!